Good morning, everyone. This is Strawberry Sing. Thank you for joining me today. I am at Alpha Moon in Second Life. Uh, I'm looking at my stream right now, and it looks a little bit blurry, and I'm not sure why. Let me know if it looks okay to you guys. Again, this is a new system, so I'm trying it out, uh, trying different settings, and hopefully it'll work. If you look in the description of the video, I have a link to a blog post, and in that blog post I answered some questions about what I do at Linden Lab. I had quite a few of you asking me things, so um, I thought I'd let you guys know what I do there, so you can click on over. And of course I have uh, more information about Alpha Moon in there as well, not too much. So what I'm going to try to do, I'm not, I don't know, it looks really blurry to me in the stream. Hopefully that's just a resing issue. It looks great, Sugar. Okay, fantastic. Just I just wanted to make sure. So uh, I'm going to try using my, um, my Space Navigator 3D mouse. Let me see if it works for me. What's going on today with okay so a lot of people have asked me about um, the space navigator uh, some people uh, don't know how it, it works exactly how to use it for a cell um, so with me I just basically plug it in I don't I don't install the drivers and it seems to work uh, if you install the drivers I know some of the space navigator drivers are not compatible um, so, you know, you can check that out. And once you install the drivers, you can use it just like a mouse. Uh, like right now, I'm I'm not in fly cam mode. There's a fly cam button on the side if you you see it. So it's kind of just rotating around me. If I was standing up, because I'm sitting down, if I was standing up and push forward, I could actually start walking and so forth. But since I'm sitting down, I'm just going to use the fly cam. So I'm going to hit the fly cam button, and then I can just start camming around the whole place. Hi everybody, good morning. So um, I'm, I'm having a little bit of issues with resing right now. I'm just, uh, again, it's a new system and I'm still getting used to how to use my mouse with it. And for some reason, YouTube still looks crazy blurry to me and I don't know why. <laughs> but you guys are saying it looks okay, so that's all that matters really. So you can see how smoothly I'm able to cam around um, Alpha Moon. And uh, you know what it looks like. There's a beautiful little waterfall. So you have to be really gentle with the Space Navigator. Like you be like barely touching it, just kind of nudging it slightly. Because I notice it can be really extreme. I know there's like joystick settings and so forth that you can mess around with. You know, maybe that'll change some of the pressure. Look at the water here. It's beautiful. The wind light I'm using is actually the region wind light. I didn't change it at all. All I did was brighten it a little bit. I added a little bit of gamma. Just so I, you guys can see it clearly in the video. Um, you lost me. I don't know if, if the video is gone. I hope it's still showing. I feel like it's still very blurry. And hopefully once this video uploads I'll know for sure I just hope it's not like completely blurry because this is a beautiful place and you can see how smoothly I'm camming around with my space navigator I'm still I have to be honest I'm still getting used to the mouse it's like I don't use it all the time because it's so sensitive to the touch you have to be really gentle with it and so sometimes I end up like going under ground or flying too high in the sky and I'm like where did I go so I'm gonna try and practice more with it just like kind of explore different areas destinations in the cell and this is gonna be a really quick video because I gotta start working but uh, <laughs> I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys for a minute uh, direct you over to my blog if you want to learn more about what I do at Linden Lab and show, show you this beautiful destination in Second Life. Look at this little bear. Oh, he's actually animated. Let me see if I can zoom in on him. Ooh, he 
just eat a fish. <laughs> but yeah, I am gonna check this video out afterwards to make sure that it's not blurry because to me it's like completely blurry right now in YouTube. And I hope that's not the case. Oh, there's a little church here. And graveyard, wow. So this is kind of a, a role play sim. I do want to mention that. it's First of all, it's an adult sim. Uh, I want to let you know. And it's a role play sim. So in their destination guide information, let me just... Um, actually, I'm not going to read it. I'm going to read the destination guide. I want to keep canning. But uh, I've linked to the destination guide from my uh, blog post as well. So you can read the little description of the sim on the destination guide before you decide to TP here. And when I, when I landed here, uh, I got an IM from the owner. Let me just quickly show you, basically um, asking whoever visits to be respectful and not to try to enter areas that are locked. So apparently there's like doors and such that are locked. So try not to enter those because it is a, also I think it's a, like a residential role place. And so you want to, you know, you want to respect the privacy, but there's so much more to do here that's just so much more to see and now I'm getting sorry I'm, I'm still getting so many notifications and so forth totally killed the ambiance here I have to uh, still turn off my toasts in my settings you see the toast coming up um, I need to figure out how to turn that off again it's in my settings I'll figure it out sooner or later <laughs> um, get in here now I'm out in the water look at the beautiful water Try to turn back around. See, it's so much fun using the Space Navigator too, but I definitely need a lot more practice with it. And that's it, guys. I don't want to keep this, like, I don't want to make this video uh, too long. There are some really beautiful uh, statues and so forth that I've noticed. I think that one may be nude, so I'll keep my distance, but um, but yeah, beautiful place to explore, really calming. And that's it guys, so I think I'm here somewhere, there I am. And that's it guys, thank you so much for watching and for subscribing, and again, I know a lot of you uh, had a lot of questions. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of people messaging me right now, so I'm just going to close. I'm going to fix all these settings. I still haven't set them up with the new computer. Um, but I, I know a lot of people had a lot of questions about what I'm doing at Luna Lab. You can find out more in uh, in my again in the blog post that I have linked in the description. The wind light um, is actually just the region wind light, so I don't know which wind light it is. I just stuck with the region wind light, and all I did was add a little bit of gamma to brighten it up a little bit. But yeah, if you go to the sim, hopefully you should see it exactly like this, just probably a little bit darker. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.